Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am filming today a bit of a vlog. I'm going to the Trafford Centre. I'm actually going this evening for an event with Bath & Body Works, a brand new store opening in the Trafford Centre. It's actually the first standalone store outside of like a next or next to a next. Um, obviously Bath & Body Works, if you don't already know, was huge in America when I lived there and now that it's in the UK, I mean, it's been in the UK and Next for a long while and Next is still the stockist. So if you wanna shop it online, you can shop it on Next, but to be able to have a standalone store and in Manchester is just so exciting. So I'm going to the opening event tonight and then I am actually doing some work with them over on Instagram and TikTok. So I'm gonna go back tomorrow morning and film that. That's what I'm doing this evening at like 5.30. So I'm gonna go a little bit earlier check out the shops so i thought i would bring you guys along with me and show you some new in maybe home sense primark i definitely want to go to home sense slash tk max because i keep seeing everyone's posts and stories about like all the autumn stuff the new in bits and i'm just like i need to get that i need to go regularly to make sure I get the good stuff, you know? So I thought, what better opportunity? I've got an event there tonight anyway at Traffic Centre to head over to Home Sense beforehand. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. I will show you my outfit, what I'm wearing. I'll show you through here actually, because I still need to pop on. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow when I go back to Bath & Body Works. I have shown this on my Instagram already. It's actually the wrong way around, but it's like a little black linen dress. And then this bag as well is from Next. So yeah, I'm gonna wear that tomorrow, nice and casual during the day. And then let me just grab my phone and then I'll show you the dress I'm wearing for this afternoon slash this evening. It's a little bit dressier, I feel. So I thought a bit more appropriate to wear for an event. It's Next as well. And it's essentially like a pleated dress. It does have pockets. It is maxi, like it's to the floor. I'm just wearing little sandals with it, which again are from Next. Um, but yeah, it's very floaty, drapey, quite dramatic. To go with it, I think I'm just gonna take, again, because it's evening, I'm gonna take my um, Saint Laurent bag, I think. It's already got everything in it, so it's just nice and convenient to grab that. Then in terms of jewelry, I'm gonna pop on my watch. Which is definitely wrong because I don't wear it enough. It is half past three. There we go. So I'm gonna put my watch on. This is the, I do get questions about my watch. It's from Rolex, it's the Date Just. Oyster Perpetual Date Just. So that's my watch. And then I'm gonna pop on just a simple necklace. Which one should I go for? I'm gonna go for this gold chain. It's just very simple, there's nothing on it this was actually like a family um gift i think my dad got this when he was in saudi arabia when i was much younger i think i can't remember but i think around about when i was 18 i got this it's just a simple gold chain i love it good for layering as well i think i will wear just a bit of a selection of some gold rings and then final touch for perfume it's honestly putting on perfume is like my favorite part of getting ready i just love perfumes so much this is one of my absolute all-time favorites the replica by the fireplace oh god it's so good but it does kind of i get that out at the start of autumn every year and pretty much wear it from like end of august september all the way through until like april no march i would say before it starts getting into spring so i feel like i like to save it for autumn that one plus it is it's by the fireplace it's a very autumnal wintry kind of scent so for this evening i'm gonna go for a summery kind of scent well i mean you can wear this one all year round jo malone mimosa and cardamom because it's a bit spicier it's a bit weighter and i just feel like it's nice for an evening so yeah i'm going to put that on but also just do a little spritz of <laughs> i always like to layer my jo malone scents and especially for evening this one Marin tonka is gorgeous so just it's quite heavy though this one's so just one spritz one spritz there that will do oh my god that is just so good that has to probably be my second favorite ever all-time fragrance so that is my outfit we're all ready to go it's now half three i haven't really eaten much i might just grab a bite to eat before i head out and then 
especially if it's like an evening event i don't know how long it'll go on for and then grab some food when i get home later on tonight but yeah let's let's go check out the shop shall we and it's sunny as well so it's nice to be back in a dress but it's still only like 19 degrees so i'm not sweating which is great just before i go i just had to share with you i just came downstairs and the gorgeous sunlight hitting these beautiful blooms stunning I love it when the sun just hits this spot in the kitchen. Sometimes it hits the like sink area through the kind of like skylight windows and sometimes it just hits right in the middle of the island and I just think it's so pretty, especially when we've got, oh, maybe not this one. We can get rid of that one. But yeah, especially when you've got some fresh flowers. One last full length OOTE outfit of the evening. because It's definitely not the night. It's kind of more like the afternoon to be honest with you. Um, yeah, this is what the dress looks like. Really like it. And I just, there's something about a dress with the pockets. I just think it elevates it completely. Um, it is a little bit, it's not fitted, this dress. And this is a 10 on me. I'm size 10. So just bear that in mind. If you are wanting a bit more fitted, then size down. But I actually think, especially due to the pleats, it's kind of designed to be a little bit of a looser fit. Anyway, let's go. Just so you're aware, this is the Barton Square Arcade section to the Trafford Centre. So I kind of park at the other side to start with to have a quick look in Home Sense. As you can see, all of the autumn goodness is in, including Emma Bridgewater. They even have Halloween Emma Bridgewater mugs. I was so happy to see that. So yeah, anyone who is offended by the early autumn, just look away for the next couple of moments because, yeah, they've got quite a lot in. And every time that you walk through the door I'm hit by the same old side Blinded by the lights And I'm going through changes But it's easier with you I'm going through changes And so So I've just seen this, this is really interesting. Well, it is to me anyway. Anna Jacobs, this brand, can you see at the bottom it here? I'm wondering if now their brands, they have to tell you. Lovingly brought to you by TK Maxx and Home Sets. Cause obviously I knew that they had these brands that they kind of like, they own themselves. But yeah, maybe they have to tell you that. Anyway, I saw this bath mat, really like it. I love these bubbly ones. I've got a white one in my bathroom, but Tom's got green towels in his. And I think that would look really nice, but I don't know what size to get. Cause they've got this one, 50 by 80 centimeters at 5.99. They also have smaller ones, 40 by 60 at only 3.99. I feel like his space is actually quite small. So I think I might get, like in terms of space where he would put his bath mat. They do have loads of other colors as well. I personally prefer the kind of like olive green colored. But they've got like a duck egg bluey gray. They've got like a bright blues, black as well. Oh, they've got white ones and gray ones as well. At, um, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised at the amount of autumn stuff they've got. Quite the selection already. Last time I came in, it was like a taster of it. Now they've got like the full on aisles. This is pretty, kind of designer inspired, these little boxes. How nice do they look? Kind of like Dior type print. It's not quite Dior, let's just, let's just say inspired by, but yeah, really pretty. I feel like I've just got autumn on the brain now because I've seen all those bits, but these sort of crates are usually quite good as well for displaying like autumn decor. And they are 9.99 for the smaller one and $14.99 for the bigger one but they're also good to look out for at like car boots antique places they look a bit more rustic because they are <laughs> they're old just an idea for like doing a little autumn display I just feel like these rustic kind of warm tones would work really well with pumpkins I imagine that just full to the brim with white pumpkins I can hear the wind chime. 
It's always been you in the back of my mind. Early blue morning, when everything's cold. How gorgeous are these big pots? I think they're suitable for outdoor use as well, but they're kind of like brushed with gold, so really pretty and probably something that I'd prefer to have inside um, but yeah I just think they're gorgeous $34.99 for that one and oh $69.99 for that one so that one's quite a bit more but really really pretty they've got some other little faux plants here as well these ones are $14.99 and then these kind of like pumpkin bowl faux plants as well which I thought were quite fun never seen these before $16.99 for the lighter kind of um like pastel orange with the white flowers and then they've got the burgundy flowers with a gold pumpkin bowl at $19.99. They also have some gorgeous like terracotta pots which are like different colours. You've got the like standard terracotta, you've got some dark greens. This is kind of like a washed sage green but they're so affordable, $3.99. They're a little bit chalky, so if you have them inside, which I do have some like this inside, um, then just bear in mind what surface you put them on, because I think they are, yeah, the intention is to have them as like garden pots. That one's had a casualty. I remember these candles from last year, except I never saw this recipe, sticky buns. They had like different ones. I got farmhouse cookies, I think. Um, but yeah, they're gorgeous. They're essentially a candle, obviously, that smell amazing very sweet this one um, and it's got a little recipe on there of how you can make some sweet sticky cinnamon buns gorgeous 8 dollars that one found a dupe this is a great dupe for the anthropology mugs that they do $4.99 for that one which is patterned but I've just noticed they've got like a glazed one a plain one in that same color at $3.99 but yeah the anthropology mugs that are just like this retail for like I think it's about 14 pounds, so much cheaper. Nice for a big, huge hot chocolate with loads of squirty cream. This one's quite cute as well, actually. It just says, hello, pumpkin. That one is 4.99. These are the sort of things that you just have to pick up when you see them, 12.99. If you like that, it's literally just one. One gorgeous pumpkin teapot, plain white. I can't imagine that is gonna last very long. I think that'll get snapped up straight away. So I was just gonna say, right now I need to actually find out where the store is. Okay. However, I can already see it. Here it is. Bath and Body Works. Waking up to my heartbeat, accompanied by the rain. The soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. This room is still uncharted. As soon as I get started, I'll send you an SOS. I'll wait like it's nobody's business. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak. So I'm out from the lovely event. I've got a couple of shopping bags of things that I've bought today. Didn't actually have a chance to get to Primark, so what I'm gonna do is come back tomorrow. I also have a voucher which I've been given for Bath and Body Works. So I'm gonna head back there tomorrow, pick up some bits, go to Primark, oh it's a bit breezy, and yeah, show you the new in bits tomorrow. It's already getting quite late, it's about seven o'clock. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna get a Tim Hortons drive through. Get back home to my little pooch and my boyfriend. Yeah, lovely little evening and an absolutely full to the brim boot. So I'll uh, put you guys up again tomorrow when I'm back at the traffic centre, back here. Good morning. It is bright and early, 10am, and I am here to film the content for Bath and Body Works, which I'll do for Instagram, but then pick you guys back up again when I head over to Primark to see what is new in. It's looking a little overcast, and I'm in a dress. <laughs> so we'll see how successful this stays dry or not, but at least Traffic Centre is mostly inside anyway. I'm gonna head in now, and then, yeah, see you guys in Primark.
This time I started upstairs. I usually go into this Primark on the ground floor, but upstairs have the home section. So they had a couple of like autumny bits and nothing too major. Loads of faux plants and faux foliage actually in this new crockery set. Stunning. It's like a kind of distressed looking scalloped edged set that you could go full on get the entire collection or just get the odd couple of things, especially the mug. I feel like a mug is always a a good staple to buy. gorgeous and cute are these little ceramic hedgehogs and owls i just think they're so nice kind of like a touch of autumn decor same as these toadstools i feel like toadstools are a huge thing in america so i feel like it's something that i'm seeing in shops this year look there are some glittery ones here as well i'm seeing more in the shops this year and i feel like it's like we're a season behind americans who did it last year you know but anyway what do you think of the toadstool trend for autumn i think it's like an autumn decor piece that isn't too Halloween-y, so kind of like it, kind of like it, although I've not bought one yet. We'll see if I do end up succumbing to the toadstool trend, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, let's head on downstairs now to the fashion section. I feel like this Trafford Centre Primark has quite a good selection of good stock, but it's just not the biggest, so City Centre is definitely my first choice if I could go. But yeah, this little vest I thought was lovely at just six pounds, paired with these straight leg jeans, which are a staple, and this trench coat, which is how they've styled it on the mannequins, I just thought was lovely. I also thought this checked dress was a nice kind of like September dress. You know on those warm days when we reach September and we have a bit of a heat wave, but you want the autumn plaid check pattern. Anyway, I'm rambling. This striped jumper was one that was gorgeous. It's like part of their edit range as they do every so often, like the odd pieces of these edit clothes. Um, but anyway, they had some in the pajama section, like these ones, they contain silk. Kind of premium though, in terms of price. 14 pounds just for the little vest and another 14 pounds for the shorts. So yeah, quite a lot. They also had this slip dress, again in the pajama section, but I think you could totally wear this just day to day. I did also spot the same kind of silky satin slip dress in this design, which was beautiful. It was definitely more thinner though. Same with these kind of sets of PJs. Like I just don't think you could get away with them as outerwear, but still look really pretty nonetheless. And then I had to, to share with you guys, those heels were gorgeous by the way, but I had to share with you this. Is that not a 90s throwback? At least it is for me anyway. Let me know if you wore those too. We are at Starbucks drive through I've seen that they're doing like a waffle... I'm going to see if they've got it advertised on the screen because I can't remember the name of it. Waffle something? Chocolate waffle something. <laughs> so I thought I'd grab a drink before heading back home. Boot is full of Primark bags. I've still got the Bath and Body Works bits to show you. I've done all the content for them this morning. So we're feeling good. We're feeling fresh. We're feeling positive. We have bags full of goodies Hi, to share with you. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started with you? Hi, can I try um, a tall chocolatey waffle cone frappuccino, please? A tall one? Yeah. Does it, is that got coffee in it? You can have it with or without. Can I have it with decaf coffee as well? Yeah. And that's it, thank you. Are you having the whipped cream? Yes, please. If that's everything, make your way around. Thanks. That's what it is. Chocolatey. They do a strawberry one as well. Strawberry waffle cone frappuccino. And you might be able to tell as well, sun's come out. So I feel like it's fully justified to get a frappuccino. And let me tell you, I haven't had a frappuccino in, I'm going to say years, I think. Because as and when I come to like Starbucks or whatever, I usually get a hot drink. Um, and if I do get cold, it's usually just an iced coffee or like a cool and refresher. Can't remember the last time I had a frappuccino. Let's give this a little taste. Cream on top. 
all the sugar. Oh wow, it's very sweet. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Hello puppy. He's just watching Tom load in the car, aren't you? He's just um, loading the car for a tip run. Barney this way. So I have quite the haul that I have accumulated through the event last night that they gifted us um, a goodie bag along with the PR mailer they sent out for the invite for the event and with a few bits that I purchased today with a voucher that they very kindly gifted me. So I'm just gonna quickly run over what they included in the goodie bag. We got these cozy socks umbrella. We also got a selection of things from the new gingham range. This one is gingham vibrant. This is one of their eau de parfum. And then I also got some bits from the gingham fresh and of all the gingham scents, the fresh one is my favorite. It's like really strong pear scented. It's beautiful and like kind of fruity. So we've got shower gel and their body moisturizer, body lotion, along with a fine fragrance mist. If you use all of these together, honestly guys, they're so strongly scented. When you use this in your shower, your entire bathroom, slash upstairs, smells of that. Um, and then I've got a couple of little minis from the original gingham scent, and then this little kind of um, trio of goodies. Again, I think that, yeah, it's again a shower gel, body cream, and fine fragrance mist. And then at the event last night, they were actually doing engravings, so I got this candle engraved. Can you see? It says Freya, how nice is that? So this is one of my favorite scents that they do. I particularly like the high intensity one, which comes in the black packaging. This is just the original mahogany teakwood scent. Rich mahogany, dark oak, frosted lavender. It smells lovely, especially for like the warmer, darker, cozier days, even during summer, but you know, like thunderstorm days, get your mahogany teakwood out. And their gentle foaming hand soaps are so soft, luxurious. They lather up really, really well. And honestly, I really like them. Where's the dog? Oh, he's there. I was just hoping he's not escaped through the front door, but no. He's just sleeping with his polar bear down there. Tom's just watching the cricket as well. Anyway, back to it. Yes, yeah, so I got those two. And then we also got this in the goodie bag, the sugar body scrub from their aromatherapy range, which is in eucalyptus and spearmint, which sounds lovely. Good for like getting off your fake tan. Then they always do five for 15 pounds kind of deal on their um, little hand gels, which I love. I love these. They're just perfect size for just throwing in your car, throwing in a handbag. You can have one in each handbag and honestly they're so convenient and handy. And they also sell these little kind of, in different colors, these little like holders, which again, good for maybe any other dog walkers out there just to attach this to your dog walking belt or whatever. But anyway, the scents that I got, Champagne Toast, Eucalyptus and Spearmint from that aromatherapy range again. Again, one of my faves, Mahogany Teakwood. Ocean, which is like a men's kind of fresh scent and then warm vanilla sugar. Cinnamon spiced vanilla is very sweet but just a really nice kind of seasonal scent. So I might save this one for as we go into autumn. And these two, I've never seen this range before. They've got a couple of other scents as well but honestly guys, they smell so good. And I love the new aesthetics, the new kind of like matte beige packaging. I just think it's beautiful. So this one, Palo Santo and Sage is a favorite. But I also really liked the scent of this one, bergamot and birch. And little birdie told me at the event, one of the, the staff that had flown over from America for the opening, uh, he was the visual merchandiser. He was explaining how, was it him? It might have been someone else actually. Someone was telling me that the balsam fur scent that they do at Christmas, they're thinking about bringing it out as like an all year round scent, which would make me so happy because as much as it is amazing at Christmas, because it is so fresh and that birch pine kind of scent, it's it's nice all year round. It's not just a Christmassy one. So anyway, hopefully that will come into fruition. And then last but not least, I got this, which is hopefully gonna go beautifully. Yes, it kind of fits the aesthetics, doesn't it? Except Tom's just left that bin open, which doesn't fit, but we'll ignore that. Um, this kitchen lemon uh, cleansing gel hand soap, which comes in that kind of like matte packaging. Again, they had some other scents of this. They had a green one as well, which I might get in the, I think it's called garden thyme, like as in the herb thyme. So yeah, if I see that when I next go in, because they didn't have it in stock when I went in, but if they see it, if I see it when I next go in, I'm going to get that one as well, because it's like in a matte 
sage green packaging so again i think it'll fit the aesthetics in here but yeah that's my little bath and body works haul i'll go upstairs now and show you what primark bits i got but i also just quickly will show you this hoping it's good it's a little beauty sponge from refi um i just picked up in selfridges for eight pounds i just wanted to new makeup sponge to apply my makeup with. And whilst I'm down here, I'll also just show you the dress that I wore. So again, I have shown this on Instagram, but it's just like a lightweight linen. The straps are a little bit long for me. I think I just need to tighten up the back a little bit more, but yeah, a nice floaty button down linen dress and the same bag and shoes. Again, both from Next and all Next outfit this one, which I'm loving. Feeling summery, even though <laughs> the rain is on and off. I think Tom's due to go to the cricket tomorrow to go and watch them play, but I'm hoping, not hoping it's rained, yeah, who am I kidding? I'm hoping it's rained off so that he doesn't have to go and watch. You can stay at home with us. Probably best packing up this, these goodies first before I take you upstairs. Just come up to the bedroom, locking this one in because we've got, um, got builders here at the minute. Well, I say builders. People looking at our flooring. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Christ, have you seen you sat on me? Barney, Barney, I can't have you sitting on me like that. You can't get close enough to me. Go lie down with your doggy. Who's your doggy? Well, you stay there then. Let me open the shutters, let a bit more light in. Whew. Right, last but not least, we've got a little Primark haul for you. Didn't get loads, got two bags full of stuff. Um, didn't get loads of clothes. To be honest with you, I feel like they're in that transitional period as they always end up having at this time of the year where it's kind of in between summer and autumn. They're starting to get a few autumn bits in, but for the most part, it's kind of like end of line summery bits, lots of sale things. And also the Traffic Centre one is, it's okay. It's just nothing like the city centre one. City centre you just can't match. But anyway, first thing I got was this gorgeous cushion. How nice is this? It was only £10. I say only £10. I'd say that's about about the right price for Primark cushion. Because it's not like a, it's kind of, it's a semi-choppable one. Let's face it, it's not a proper one. And also it doesn't, it's not like a, you can't unzip it. It's not a cushion cover with a cushion. So I can't switch out the cushion inside if that makes sense but it's all right i mean i'm thinking of this one more as a display type cushion because of the decorative pattern it's really pretty i thought this would be nice in our console somewhere to you know how sometimes people will have like a throw and a cushion or something at the bottom of a console like more as a styling piece that i did have a couple in there some green the green ones that i got from mns outlet but i've ended up kind of using them as outdoor cushions like just to sit out on the patio when it's sunny so yeah i thought i would replace those with this one and it's just plain on one side which if you're not feeling the pattern you want to switch it up maybe for like autumn you've got loads of other stuff going on already just switch it to the plain rest of the year have it like that so yeah i got that one for 10 pounds 50 by 50. this was a little checkout purchase i got one of these last year they're one of these centered Thank you for the kiss. It's not a treat, no. Uh, one of these little scented pouches that you can just pop in like a gym bag or a... <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm not playing with you, sorry, that was teasing you. I was teasing you. I just put these in like small rooms, wardrobes, that kind of thing. Because they don't, they give off enough scent for a small space, but not really for a big room. So these are a pound in the woodlands scent. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I got these two, actually. Just bagged them up separately. From that scalloped range, which I showed in the vlog section. And I decided to go for the large and small bowl. Firstly, how nice they look. That's it, the bag's gone. <laughs> Bye. will go on for a while. <laughs> I'll see you, Barn. Is that for you? I don't think so. It's not for Barney. Just don't destroy it, okay? Because then I've got to pick up after you. And cardboard, picking up paper bags. 
all ripped up. It's gonna take me a while, isn't it? Hmm. Can mummy have it? Thank you. Good boy. Gross. Anyway, the scallop range. How nice it looks just styled up like this on the console or in the kitchen, on the shelf, in the pantry, wherever. Um, but also obviously, practically, two larger, two larger, one larger, one smaller bowl. The three, the, oh my goodness. The smaller bowl is £3.50 and the larger one, wow, it's quite a big price difference, £6 for the larger one. But I thought these would be good for when we're hosting just to have, I love these little kind of mismatched crockery bowls for things like nibbles, nuts, crisps, that kind of thing. So yeah, got them too. Anyway, I was tempted for the mug, but I thought, I don't need it. Anyway, I got this bow. It's not very me, but I just have this vision of like when you're wearing like a nice pretty green long dress or white long flowy dress and then this just clips at the back. Especially for like an occasion, if you're not wanting a full headpiece, just have a nice dramatic bow like that one because it's this beautiful like satiny fabric. I feel like it looks quite dressy as well. So it's only three pounds and I thought it's quite big. So yeah, three pounds for that. I've got a couple of basics. These are in the pajama section, but they're just little kind of crop tops. I would probably just wear these because they've got like a double lining, really supportive. I'd wear these as a bra, layering piece, even if I'm just like around the house, just wearing joggers, one of these and like a cardigan thrown over the top or leggings, one of these and a cardi. So yeah, I've got the gray and then I've got the white as well, just two staple colors, but they had loads, loads of colors. So I got a small 10 to 12. And they are, they're like that Limitless Contour range from Zara. The kind of ribbed fabric, really soft. Okay, I saw that, right, this is in the men's section. I am actually going to give this to Tom, but if it's too small for him, because it's a large, he's like large to extra large. If it's too small for him, I'll wear it, because it's really soft. Again, this was, I think it was, it wasn't pyjama, it was like loungewear. They had matching shorts, which I was going to get, but they only had smalls. Um, but I decided to get the t-shirt anyway at only £8. It's a grey mull, really light. If I show you close up, you might be able to tell. The inside is kind of fuzzy, just ever so slightly, but it just makes it super soft and quite thick as well. So yeah, I really like that. I'm kind of thinking, or hoping, it doesn't fit him and he doesn't want it because I think that with just leggings, it's honestly so cozy. Definitely check out the menswear. I got a couple of staples. I need to have a big sort through and clear out of my underwear drawer, but just like everyday basics, these Primark triangle ones, I've got quite a few of and they're getting old and bobbly. And I mean, I know I can remove the bobbles, the limp bobbles, but they're just, they're looking a bit scraggly worse for wear i've had them for years so i feel like i could do with a switch out but they have gone up in price these sets are now six pounds each so anyway i've got the small 10 to 12 in the gray and the i've not seen this color before i think it's new it's like a khaki olive color i've got this pajama set i love a long piped pajama set a white company dupe style you know with the whole like um, shirt style long trousers and this one is in a colour again that I've never seen before in a medium I always size up in my PJs at £15 in comparison to your white company piped PJs cotton PJs at £80 quite a price difference and then I got this t-shirt this was one that I just kind of saw en route to check out and again it filled field felt like really lovely quality so I decided to pick it up £7 this one and it's just a plain simple basic tee boxy tee this one is in a small and it's quite big so yeah um and at seven pounds i thought really good price nice and oversized fit gorgeous neutral kind of green color loving the greens aren't i I've got plenty of them now um and then i got this little checkout purchase i've not seen this i don't think i've ever had this flavor i feel like i would remember if i had pineapple mint this is carmex i always just wear literally lip liner and a carmex this sun's coming through quite strong now let me close these lines oh, that's a bit better the sun was getting a bit strong next up from the homeware section i saw this uh pack of tea towels i thought i would pick them up they um they've there's four different colors they're just like a plain striped but like a linen canvas really thick kind of fabric that 
I tend to use these more as covers for bowls as when you're baking or letting cakes cool down. I think because of that rustic kind of texture, I don't tend to use these to actually dry pots, but more just to have out and about on surfaces and as when you need them. Hot plate protector type things. As when Tom's on the barbecue and he always likes these kind of like rougher textured ones to like clean up as he goes. So they get pretty grubby pretty quickly, but I like the thick texture for that kind of a tea towel. Then I saw this in the homeware section and I just loved the colour and the texture of it. It's just a standard sort of pillar candle that now that we've got more spaces to decorate and things, these sort of things I think will come in really handy for styling spaces up and also for like tablescapes for us when you're hosting. Ooh, it's just so exciting to be able to have that space i've just we've never had it even in the old house we've never had a place that we can actually host people so yeah it's very exciting for me anyway yeah tablescapes as well in the middle of the table i like to burn candles but i'm thinking this more on like a little candlestick on one of the shelves either in the black room maybe or on the mantel in the black room that could be quite nice uh, but yeah these were three pound and they're just got such a gorgeous texture almost like stone looking last but not least i got some rings never tend to pick up jewelry from primark but i saw this pack and to be honest with you there's only really two or three that i would wear out of the pack of five which is kind of annoying but at three pound fifty even if it's just one ring that i liked within the pack for three pound fifty i think that's a bargain they're kind of like a an irregular hammered um gold metal kind of texture the two that i like are these two plain ones this second one in here and this last one although i do quite like the color of these gems they're like a rust orange kind of color i don't know if i'd wear the heart and then this one has little pearls on and one sage green kind of colored gem so maybe i'd wear that one as well but it's those two in particular that i really liked that's everything that i got from primark i hope you've enjoyed today's video i am going to close it off here because i feel like i've got plenty of footage for you guys to enjoy hopefully fingers crossed you enjoyed it i did get lots from home sense and sorry to be that annoying person to say i'm not going to show you within this video but what i'm going to do is start shopping for more autumn bits. I know I've kind of teased a bit, especially with the range in Matalan, but any other bits that I end up buying before decorating for autumn, so I'm thinking August time, I will give you a huge autumn homeware haul. But for those of you that do love autumn and do want a sneak peek of the things that I did pick up to avoid missing out, what I will do is share them on like my TikTok and Instagram so that it's not within my YouTube channel, my YouTube content, it's over on the other platforms as like quick sneak peeks of things that I've been buying. So yeah, hope you don't mind that. Barney's got his own Instagram if you wanna follow along. If you wanna see any of those bits, then head over to those platforms. Be sure to follow along and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.